Hi guys! Uh, today we're going to do a Lincoln High Dive experiment. Okay, uh, so to do this experiment at home, all you need are a few household items. Firstly, you'll need a penny, some cardstock, small jar, ruler, pair of scissors, tape, and a pen. Okay, and if you're doing this in the classroom, uh, the only safety precautions you should go over are um, safety procedures with scissors, make sure that the um, blades are down and fist around them. Okay, and also because we are going to be flinging our paper hoops around, you should check your surroundings uh, before uh, doing so. Okay, so how do we do this experiment? Um, first off, what you'll do is cut a strip of paper from your cardstock. Uh, the perfect uh, hoop for a small jar would be about two centimeters in width and 30 centimeters length. Okay, and then once you form your hoop, uh, just secure it with some tape and place it onto your jar. Next, you place your penny directly on top of your hoop, like so. And then, um, this is where uh, in class you would ask, what's going to happen to the penny when I fling the hoop away? So, uh, after you have your hypothesis set, you do the experiment. Let's see what happens. Oh. And the penny falls in. Wow. Okay, um, so there we have it. And this point is where you would explain to the kids about uh, Newton's first law or the law of inertia, uh, basically that states that objects in motion will stay in motion, objects at rest will stay at rest, uh, unless affected by an outside force. Okay, um, so uh, further experiments that can be done with this, there's a few other ones that can be done. The first one is to uh, change the size of the hoop. Second one is to change the object change the shape of the object. And then the third one is to um, change the speed at which you fling the hoop. Okay, so let's try those and see what happens. Okay, so I have a big hoop, small hoop. So let's try a small hoop first and see what happens. Okay. There we go, penny goes in. And Big hoop, let's see what happens. So at this point, you would be having your students do this in class, in groups probably, and having them hypothesize about what would happen. There we go. So as you can see, the hoop size doesn't really matter. I did, however, try this with a huge hoop. Um, it didn't quite work out because I couldn't get the hoop to balance. So I think as long as the hoop can balance on the jar, uh, the same uh, effect is going to happen. Next one is uh, changing the object. Uh, so for that I have a paper clip and a clip to try out. So let's try paper clip. Okay, and again you would ask the kids to hypothesize. Oh, there we go. That was the effect I was looking for. And there we go. So the shape of the object didn't really have an effect. I think as long as it's similar size, it will um, apply. And last one is changing the speed. So let's try that. Let's go really slow first, okay? <laughs> okay, that one didn't work. So let's try it. Oop. Okay, let's try really slow. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so slow doesn't really quite work. Let's try a little bit faster. There we go. That's about the same speed that I've been doing it, so it kind of works. And then let's go super fast. Okay, and there you have it. That was our Lincoln High Dive experiment. So I hope you have some fun with it. Thank you.
Don't see 